welcome everyone welcome to mathematics class but before we do anything don't forget you people you know you have to sub subscribe okay subscribe so that you can watch more videos okay we have more videos on our platform don't forget subscribe subscribe okay today we are dealing with what called geometric progressions okay geometric progression geometric progressions under sequences okay okay fine so now we have this particular question from geometric progressions which we have to revise together these are exam questions okay so the first question is like this the first three terms of a geometric progression are 6 plus n 10 plus n and 15 plus n now find the value of n find the value of n you have been given this as the first thing 6 plus n as the first term 10 plus n 15 plus n meaning this is your first term this is your second term this is your third term now me i'll use letters meaning this one is the first term is given by letter a second term is given by letter what b third term is given by letter what c so me i'll use letters okay to represent the number of terms okay all right fine so this is first term second term third term okay so first term is given by this letter second term this letter third term let us see okay so now we are going to use the geometric mean method we are given b over a is equal to uh, c over b as our method we are going to use to find the value of n okay so we are just going to replace where there is b we are going to place this where there is b you put this value you put it here okay so we are going to do this b you put 10 plus n over a you put 6 plus n equals c you have 15 plus n over you have b which is 10 plus n so you need to multi cross multiply now okay cross multiply okay so you are going to do this 10 plus n times 10 plus n meaning this times this which is 10 plus n 10 plus n you are multiplying them okay equals you have 6 plus n times 15 plus n so you have 6 plus n multiplying with 15 plus n okay so you cross multiply sorry we have already cross multiply okay you start multiplying now so you say 10 times 10 is 100 10 times n it it is 10 n n times 10 is positive 10 n n times n is positive n squared equals 6 times 15 is 90 6 times n becomes plus 6 n n times 15 becomes uh, positive 15 n n times n is positive n squared in this case like terms together okay like terms together like terms together first okay if you want you can first of all first of all simplify what is here you can still say 100 plus 10 n plus 10 n what is the answer it will give you 20 n plus n squared equals you say 90 plus 6 n plus 15 n what is the answer you are finding say it's 21 n 21n plus n squared. Like terms together now. You have n squared, n squared. Okay? So, in this case, we are going to take n squared the other side. Okay? n squared the other side. So, we are going to say 100. This one. You bring 90 this side. To become what? Negative. 90. Equals... You have 21 here, 21, 21n. You are going to say 21n, which is already here. The other n is here, which is 20n. When it crosses, it becomes negative 20n, okay? Nega that is 20n. It will go the other side. It will cross equal sign. It will become negative, okay? Fine. 
Then in this case, we are going to say this n squared is there plus n squared. When this n squared crosses the other side, it becomes minus n squared. So n squared minus n squared to give you zero. So this one is cancelled, okay? So meaning we have just remained with this, which is 100 minus 90. It will give you 10 equals 21n minus 20n. It will give you n. So the value of n is equal to 10. So this question is done. That's how you are supposed to do it. Now, that's how you are supposed to. Now we are going to the second, which says the find the common ratio. Common what? Common ratio. But before we find the common ratio, you must first of all know what is the first term value. What is the value of the second the second term? What is the value of the third term? So let's first of all find that. So we know to say. Uh, the first term we have said is 6 plus n. So I'm going to say 6 plus n, you have said is what? It's 10. Where there is n, you put 10. So we are going to put 10 here. So for us to have a, which is our first term, we're going to say 6 plus 10, the answer is 16. For b, b it is here, okay? It is here. Where you want to find the second term, you're going to say 10 plus n, which is uh, 10 plus n is what? It's 10. So it means they say 10 plus 10 to give you what? 20. For C, for C, it's 15 plus N. For C, you say 15 plus N. You have already found the N to say N is 10. You put 10 here, okay? So when you add this together, it will give you what? 25. Okay? So our first term is this. Second term, our third term. Okay? So now let's come here now. They want us to find the common ratio. Common ratio is found, it's given by this particular formula. Ratio is equal to B over A. Or if you don't want to use this one, you can simply say O, which is C over B. Any of these, they'll give you the same answer. Okay? All right. So in this case, I will use this one for, for us to find the value of R, which is the common ratio, okay? So we are going to say R is equal to, what is your B? Your B term, which is the B value, it is here. Our B is already here, which is what? 20. So we are going to put 20 here. Over, what is A? Your A is this one, which is the first, which is what? 16. So how do you find the common ratio? So ratio, so ratio is what number can, can we divide here? It's 4. 4 into 20 is 5. 4 into 16 is 4. So the value of R is 5 over 4. Meaning this particular question is done. This one was our A. Then this one is our B. Okay. This one our A. This one our B. Okay. Now how do we find the sum of the first six terms? The sum of the first six terms, six terms of this particular sequence. How do we find it? We find it nicely. Like this. I'll wrap this, I'll wrap this particular part so that we, we concentrate on that one. Okay. So for us to find the sum of the first six terms, we are supposed to use the formula. The formula is sum of nth term is equal to a open bracket. You check on your ratio. Your ratio is bigger than one, okay? So if it's bigger than one, you are going to write rn minus one over R minus 1, which is R is greater than what? 1. This is what we are going to use, okay? So, N means the number of terms you are talking about. A means the first term. So, we start replacing, okay? So, we are going to say sum of the first six terms is equal to A. Your A is 16. You are going to put 16 here. Open the bracket. R, you have your ratio here. Okay, 
So you put it here, which is which is 5 over 4 to the power any, any, any is 6. We're going to put 6 here. Minus 1. Over R. R is this one, which is here. Which is 5 over 4. Minus 1. Calculation is starting. 6 times is equal to... We are going to write 16 here. When we write 16 there, that means you are going to have this number, which is 1.25 1.25 squared. So it's not squared to the power 6. I've just changed this one, this fraction into this fraction into what into decimals okay very good so minus one over which is two which is one point two five minus one okay sum of six terms is equal to Uh, when you multiply, this is 16, you are multiplying this 16 by, when you say 1.5, 1.25 to the power 6, 1.5 to the power 6, you are getting the answer which is uh, uh, 3.81 minus 1 over 1.25 minus 1. So, sum of 6 tenths is equal to 16. When we subtract here, you are going to have 3.81 minus, minus 1. You are going to find that the answer will be the 3 minus 1, it will become 2.81 over this one when you subtract it will give you one minus one it will give you 0 0.25 so in this case when you multiply sum of six terms is equal to 16 times 2.81 what answer are you getting you are getting uh it will give you when you multiply to give you 44 Point eight one. Sorry to give you forty four. Use your calculator, okay? You are going to find forty four point nine six over zero point two five. So when you use your calculator here to divide, you are going to find that the answer that you are going to get here is a sum of six terms is equal to. When you divide, you give you 179.84. Okay, so now this one, when we round it off, sum of the first six terms, it will give us, when to the nearest number, we're going to have 180 as your answer. So this is exactly how you were supposed to calculate, okay? Don't forget, more questions are coming. Please follow us on this particular channel. You find all what you need. Don't forget, subscribe. Thank you so much.